and welcome to a Sky Racing News Update. In less than 24 hours, day two of the championships kicks off at Royal Randwick and it's Winx's Autumn Grand Final. She's as short as $1.08 for the $4 million Longines Queen Elizabeth Stakes and it seems her winning margin is the only debate worth pursuing. Winx will get conditions to suit. She's unbeaten on heavy tracks. Heavy dew and cooler days have track manager Navesh Ramdani keeping the rating in the heavy range. But he hopes to have a slow surface by tomorrow. Karen McAvoy is confident as he again teams up with the English trainer and good friend Charlie Appleby to ride Penglai Pavilion in the Schweppes Sydney Cup. McAvoy and Appleby won three cups during the Melbourne Spring and Penglai Pavilion and Polarisation are the latest Raiders to be sent to Australia. Penglai Pavilion was a 3,600 metre winner late last year and was set for the Sydney Cup after that effort. McAvoy has ridden him in track work and believes he has the class to take out the $2 million staying race. Co-trainers Murray Baker and Andrew Forsman look to win a rare double of the Australian Derby and Oaks in the same year when the favourite Bonneville lines up in the James Bogues Premium Oaks tomorrow. Clary Connors was the last to complete the Derby Oaks double in the same year. It was with research in 1989. Godolphin's Golden Rose winner Astern has been retired to stud, joining their stallion roster, while Jewel Group 1 winner Stratum Star will retire to Widden, where he was born. And the top lot on the final day of the Inglis Easter Yearling Sale was the full brother to Pariah, secured by Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa for $2.5 million. And tonight, attention turns to the Inglis Chairman's Sale for breeding prospects, starting at 5pm. That's Sky Racing News for now. I'm Victoria Samba. More news on our website and follow us on social media.